94-4 is up next here, and this one's, uh, I guess, sort of traditional belted from the side we're seeing now. And as he spins around, you're going to see a lot of black there in his belt. I think uh, he's got a really neat color pattern for a Showbera. Uh, the 94s is a litter that um, there's several litters in here that I've been excited to talk about, but uh, this is actually the first Kong that we're going to talk about uh, here in this 94-4. Kong is a boar that uh, we dug in uh, pretty deep uh, with him and, and used him a lot. And you're going to hear his name quite a bit uh, over this, uh, this coming season as we sell pigs and, and get into the crop of pigs that we've got here on the hill. That's a boar that we saw a lot of value in from a pedigree standpoint. And then uh, when I had the chance to see him uh, there at the open house at Premium Blend, I, I was further confident that, that he was a sire that we needed to implement here. Um, I think this pig is proof uh, that it was a good decision. Uh, he's, he's a reason that we're very excited about Kong's ability, at least in our sow herd, and uh, we feel really, really good about these. The sow is uh, a king. Uh, she's hired the, by the king. Dirty Deal Vendetta is what you'll see here in her pedigree. Uh, she's actually a calico-headed sow that's very impressive visually. Um, she's the kind that, that we've always appreciated around here, and I can see a lot of her in this pig. Color aside, I think this pig really represents uh, his parents on paper and uh, certainly represents his commitment here to use Kong uh, and use him hard. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And I mean, I'm not sure you can make them um, just stouter and more durable looking um, than this one. And at the same time, for his extra skull and feature, um, one that's still really organized in his build. I mean, his front toes hit the surface right on track and his knees right, his shoulders laid on him good. And man, that is a gorgeous hip and a rear leg as that thing takes off and goes across there. And then, like I said, I mean, that thing's skull is incredibly stout, but yet his pole shape reads very good long term. And man, just such an, an intimidating presence as that thing kind of turns and comes at you there um, no doubt to me one that looks like uh, you know again it's it we're a long ways away from a lot of target shows but it'll be interesting to see how this one feeds and matures and where he ultimately ends up or I guess how long you can make him stretch if you wanted to because um, when they're built like this um, you know you've probably got a lot of flexibility on how you want to handle that process but regardless of where his end point is this is a very very high quality show pig here. And I do want to point out, if you, if you saw some of our original snaps uh, about this sale offering, uh, saw them on Snapchat or saw them on social media, uh, this pig pictured well, and uh, I'm even more impressed with him here on the move as we, as we put him in front of the video camera. Uh, certainly a pig to pay attention to.